through here welcome to today's presentation so today's presentation is going to be a continuation of the series we've been doing of working with snowflake a data warehouse in the cloud we're going to see how to connect our power bi environment uh, to the data we have within snowflake if you recall in the last video we did set up a snowflake environment uh, leverage talent to load some data into that snowflake environment so we loaded two tables customers and others now, once we have that in Snowflake, we can go ahead and run queries against that, that table uh, or against the tables we've loaded into, into Snowflake. For this particular video for today, we want to see how we can take advantage of a BI tool like Power BI to connect to that Snowflake uh, data set so we can build dashboards or visualization. All right, so the prerequisite for this is to have a Power BI desktop available. Now, there is... If you go on the Snowflake website, there is some instructions you can use to follow to get this all set up. There are some prerequisites that are needed uh, for the setup to happen. Uh, one of them is installing, and let me go slowly here, is downloading and installing the ODBC driver. So if you're working on Windows, you want to download and install the Windows ODBC driver. If you're working on Linux, you want to find the same driver for that. And uh, if you click on that, it's going to bring you to a page where you can find the drivers uh, to uh, to install for me I did have it uh, in here once you click through uh, this is the link where you can see those drivers just go ahead and download the Windows 32 or 64 depending on what environment you have and click through the installation step now once you have the driver installed uh, the next step would be to configure the ODBC uh, connector uh, from Windows so uh, let's just go ahead and search for ODBC all right, and so this will bring up the ODBC uh, source data source administrator. Uh, you want to verify that first that driver shows up after you've installed it. If it doesn't, make sure you're using the right driver. So in this case, I'm uh, on 32. So you want to make sure that you install the 32 driver. If you don't see this here, you might be installing the 64-bit driver. So just something to be aware. Now, once you have that, the next step is to come into systems and create a DSN. So I already did a, uh, created a system DSN in here. And to do that, just go ahead, click on add, select the driver and fill in the details. So click on next and fill in the details. For the one I did, uh, we can configure that and you can see in the details uh, that I used uh, for this particular instance. So uh, just give it a, a data source name, any name, uh, your username, the username you use for connecting to Snowflake, the password, of course, and then the server connection, uh, the way you get the server connection is simply uh, from the URL. All right, so just copy everything uh, in that URL. Uh, so this is a trial account for Snowflake. Uh, it's a very temporary account. I think this will go away after a few days. Uh, but depending on what, you, if you have a permanent account or you just have your own trial account, just copy that. That's, this, that's the information we need for the server name. All right, database name, straightforward, schema, straightforward, uh, warehouse, the same. The rest can be left as such. All right, now, once we have this, we have that connection available. What we're going to do is go back into Power BI and actually take advantage of this. So all of this needs to be done before we go back into Power BI. So I'm going to come back into Power BI in here and then go to files. All right, what we're going to do is say get data. All right, and then from here we want to do more. So we want to do more. This would bring us to an interface. You can search for Snowflake, or you can just browse down to look for where we have Snowflake uh, listed in here. So you want to go ahead and click connect on that. All right. So for this now, it's going to ask us for the server information. Again, we get the server by simply just copying this link. Nothing fancy from there. All right, so just yours might be different. This is a temporary one I'm using. Uh, the database name. Uh, let me bring this up on the other side of the screen here. So warehouse for sure. We need the warehouse. So that's the warehouse I'm using. Uh, I can leave everything here uh, as blank. Uh, what kind of uh, data connectivity mode are we going to select? So import means one time loads, uh, runs the query, brings all the data into Snow into Power BI and everything's in Power BI. Direct query, as you can imagine, this is going to be running the queries against Snowflake and bringing the data. Uh, each time you do it, it refreshes it. So depending on what you want, you can select direct query or import. I'm going to go ahead with import for now. 
So we're gonna go ahead, click OK on this. All right. So uh, this just came up here. My connection shows up because uh, I did set it up uh, correctly. So I've set up my um, my uh, uh, my ODBC and I've come in here to set up the connection. Now, if yours doesn't show up like this, it might require you to put in your username and password or some form of authentication. So I already did that. So you can see I connect in here and now I can see my data from within uh, Snowflake. So if I go back in here, I have this uh, demo DB. I have two tables, customers and others. I can see that showing up here. If I expand on this, I can I should be able to see those within my public schema and I can decide to pull in those two tables um, into uh, my Power BI. So let's go ahead and load that. So it's going to bring those two tables. It's going to actually pull out the data for us uh, in here. And now once I have it in Power BI, you can then take your visualization wizardry on this and really make it uh, pretty uh, and beautiful. I'm not known for, you know, for my uh, visualization skills, but we can attempt something. All right. Uh, usually you might add a data model or you can just start dragging. I don't think that there's any relationships that I need to add or to detect. Yep, it auto detected uh, my customer number uh, from this table. So that's good. I don't need to change anything on that. All right. So let's uh, see if we can bring in, uh, see what customers are buying by city. So I'm going to put in a new visualization. And for that, I am going to take, uh, let's take uh, state actually. Let's do state. Let's bring the state information. And then for others, let's bring the other amount. All right. So we can just basically see uh, what customers are ordering by state. So in this case, I'm not sure what state HI is, what state is HI. Hmm. What US state is HI? Good question. Leaving in the comment section below. I, I don't think that comes to my head quickly. Uh, Wisconsin, Florida, Arizona, South Dakota, uh, Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Oregon. All right, guys. And so there you have it. I can go ahead and do more visualizations. Uh, let's see if we can throw in some some more visualizations in here. Uh, so uh, we can see, what, you know, uh, by state what customers are buying, by city what customers are buying. Let's format this. You can this gives you an idea there. of how to quickly uh, connect your Snowflake uh, environment to Power BI so you can take advantage of, of Power BI for visualization and reporting. To recap, what we need is to set up the ODBC driver. Make sure we have the ODBC driver set up. And once you have that set up, we also, uh, let me bring this back on the screen. We want to make sure we have the ODBC set up, verify that the driver is installed. And then once you have that, uh, we can go into Power BI and actually do our connection. And this is reading from the data set we loaded. Uh, in a few videos uh, previously. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope this was helpful. So today we've seen how to connect or connecting Snowflake with Power BI for visualization. Uh, for all the data wizards out there, uh, you can take this, uh, do some wizardry and perform some amazing analytics or visualization on whatever data set you have uh, within Snowflake. The sky really is a limit for this. All right, through here, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, do make sure you subscribe if you find this valuable or share this with somebody that might get value out of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.